The Daly Point Nature Reserve was established in 1989 as a partnership between industry and the province of New Brunswick. It consists of 44 hectares of Acadian forests, abandoned fields, salt and freshwater marshes, and a barrier beach, all connected through seven kilometers of trails and boardwalk. It is a naturalist haven and a hub of environmental outreach education. University students studying environmental science are employed here during the summer months and often lead citizen science projects. have a special connection to Daly Point because as a kid I would spend my summers visiting my grandmother at Karen Point just down the road and I'd spend a lot of time hiking the trails. I'm Emily Walker and I'm currently a PhD student at St. Mary's University um, and I work in the Ecology of Plants and Communities lab studying bees that live in heathlands. As a researcher, it's always a great opportunity to do science outreach with kids because they're so receptive to it. They become a network of information that sort of disseminates out to their parents and their friends, and there's a real value in that. There are so many things out there we take for granted or we don't look at closely, and once you have, it's familiar to you and you're going to think about it and value it in a way that you never considered before. And I see that in the kids when they leave the camp. Billy's curiosity about the endangered maritime ringlet butterfly was piqued during her first year as a summer student at the Daly Point Nature Reserve. As a biology student at the Université de Moncton, she turned to her professor and mentor to help her pursue the mystery of its disappearing numbers. After her passion for the subject was nurtured during a second summer season at Daly Point, she was able to successfully publish a thesis on the ringlet in a distinguished scientific journal. Billy is currently working on her master's degree at UDM. She maintains that there is still a lot to learn about indigenous species in the Schuller region, and the Daily Point Nature Reserve is a great place to conduct research and public outreach education. Dr. Gail Schmura, professor at McGill University's Department of Geography, is a salt marsh specialist. According to her, the Daly Point Salt Marsh is an excellent site for conducting research on coastal ecosystems and the benefits they provide to all life on the planet, including storing carbon dioxide from pollutants and hosting global biodiversity. While species representation on salt marshes is limited, some of those present are of global importance. Daly Point is one of only nine salt marshes around the Bay of Chaleur where we can find the endangered maritime ringlet butterfly, a relic species from the last global warming. Despite the bay boasting some 30% of New Brunswick salt marshes around its shores, this little butterfly remains restricted to but a few of these habitats and is the subject of annual surveys, including a citizen science project under the supervision of Dr. Schmoor.
Working as a summer student at Dilly Point for the past couple of years uh, really opened my eyes to seeing nature in a different perspective. It's really hard to imagine that 20,000 years ago, hundreds of meters of ice once stood here where we now have marshes and forests blooming with life. The more you learn, the more you realize that you're only scraping the surface when it comes to the diversity and richness of this ecosystem. Uh, it made me realize that as a society, we can have a much larger and positive impact on our environment and people's everyday lives uh, if we start by respecting and learning from our surroundings. And it's by pursuing my studies in international development that I hope to contribute to the ongoing movement towards a sustainable and clean future.